Hey everybody. So, uh, thanks for checking out the earlier video. If you haven't, um, you search for my other Swing Caddy SC4 review. This one's going to be my review after taking it to the range. In my last video, I talked about shooting it in the net. I thought the shots seemed a little short. And after going to the driving range, I think I can confirm that. Um, granted, like I said before, I'm just getting back into golf, but <clears throat> I'm going to show you my shots um, as they were recorded through the SC4 in the app, kind of go over those. Um, and I'll give you my impressions as, as far as what the SC4 means as a simulator. Um, you know, because it does have that sort of, uh, functionality, at least as it's advertised that you'll be able to hook it up to a PC or whatever and, and use it with, with some of the simulation stuff. Um, and I'll give you my thoughts on it as a launch monitor or a practice tool, which is really primarily what I got it for. So I'm pulling up the My Voice Caddy app shot data, and um, we'll go over kind of what I have in there from the last couple of days. So here's my shot data. Both the net and the driving range are on here, and all the shots for all the different clubs. Um, and what I can tell you from the data that we have here is that all of the shorter shots were done into the net. So like in my first video, I'm not sure if that's due to either I'm really not swinging it as hard just because I'm worried about the net, you know, and worried about the fact I'm in a residential area or that the launch monitor itself is just not registering the actual distance. Uh, probably is a combination of both those things. <clears throat> but we can see here that for the shots that are longer that I took at the driving range, um, it, from what I recall, I don't have any video to kind of go over this. So we're just looking at what's in the app, but it is getting uh, good shot data as far as what I recall seeing uh, all of those shots. Each time I took a shot, I kind of looked back at the screen and checked it out. And other than there being some issues where if I sliced it, it did not pick up a slice, right? So, um, but the rest of it for my shots that didn't slice, all of them were pretty much right where I saw them as far as trajectory, distance, etc. And while we're here in my backyard, um, go over a little bit of what I'm working on right now. Kind of got a project here with my net. Um, this may interest you. If not, feel free to skip ahead. Going to be putting up another net. You can see here I'm, I've got like some bolts I'm putting on the trees. It's coming today. I'm going to, you know, have it, uh-oh, I'm going to have it going across, uh, going about five feet higher up and then 10 feet on each side. If you're in a residential area like me, that may be a good idea if you have trees. Um, cause even though I've got about 50 yards or so of forest between me and the houses on the other side of the lot, Still, if you're in a residential area, you don't want balls flying around, freak the neighbors out. So, um, you know, it's kind of a custom installation, but there's not much to it. There's a cable uh, that it, it's like a set that comes with the hooks, the mounts, and you just buy a net and hang it on there. So that's what I'm gonna do. 30 bucks for the cable by itself. Um, and then I've also got, got a mat coming. It's not here yet, but a little golf ball tray. All pretty inexpensive stuff off of Amazon. Anyway, that's not SC4 stuff, but if you're if you're in the market for an SC4, you're probably kind of in the market for stuff like that for practicing golf. So in conclusion, would I buy the SC4 for the for use as a in-home simulator, either indoors or outdoors? Um, probably not. Um, I can tell that it is giving me shorter readouts. It's just not. Um, picking up the distance of the ball as accurately um, with it into a net. So I, I'd expect probably the same performance indoors. Now, I don't have any special balls, although I am gonna try that. I'm gonna try getting the little magnetic or metallic stickers, see if those make any difference. It'd be nice if they do. But on the other hand, would I buy it for what I bought it for? Am I gonna return it? No, uh, I'm happy with it. Um, 
you know, I can't compare it to any other of the launch monitors on the market. Don't have any experience with them, but, um, but am I happy for what it does? Yes. Why? Okay. Because if I, first of all, if I take it to the range, I'm going to get some pretty accurate readings, right? It's going to give me the distance. Um, it's going to give me launch trajectory, ball spin, swing speed, and it's going to allow me to measure up how I'm doing as I continue to work on the things I'm working on. Um, it gives me some good metrics to measure that on. As far as your options to use it for an in-home simulator, um, you know, Swing Caddy or Voice Caddy, whatever the company's name is, uh, they do advertise it'll, it's supposed to work with E6 and, and other things. But uh, I did download their mobile app and I don't see, as of today, any, any option to select the Swing Caddy as a, uh, as, as, as your system device or whatever it is in E6. So, um, probably that, that support is not there yet. Hopefully it will be soon for y'all interested in it. But again, I'm not getting the impression that, that, uh, at least yet without trying some metallic balls or, you know, whatever the special balls are, um, I'm not getting the impression that it'd be that great for, you know, doing true simulation. So take that for what it's worth. Um, I can't compare that to anything else uh, in my same setup. So not really trying to do that. But if I had $7,000 right now, or however much a simulator setup cost, would I use this, uh, the SC4, as my simulator hardware? No, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably be looking for something else. But can I use it and get feedback even without those, in, those accurate distance readings into a net for practicing and having some metrics that motivate me to, you know, keep working on things and understand where I'm at and, you know, kind of in my head calculating, hey, you know, if it says 54 yards and then it says 75 yards on the next swing, right? Like maybe that's not the exact distance, but it's telling me I did something closer to what I wanted to do on one swing versus another. Um, another thing that's not super accurate with it into a net is the ball spin readings. I got way low ball spin readings into the net compared to out on the driving range. Another thing to add as far as the feature in the SC4 that I imagine a lot of people who are wondering, should I upgrade if I've got an SC200 or an SC300? Um, and you want something that has information about, especially for a simulator type setup or a net setup about will it pick up and record slice data um, even at the range if I hit a slice it didn't really register it as a slice right it did not show a ball that was 50 yards out to the right when it hit the ground as 50 yards out to the right it kind of takes that um, uh, trajectory uh, that it's that it's going on and assumes it's going to go in a straight line from from its first reading it doesn't seem like it follows the ball uh you know all the way out to to where it goes it kind of does its calculations initially and and then that's what you get so is it gonna is it gonna tell you or is it even gonna record in the data the historical data how how bad a slice or a hook actually was uh, I, I don't think so but yeah i mean for me for what I'm trying to do, get better at golf, motivate myself, um, have some metrics and data that give me feedback. I mean, for me, that's a critical piece of motivation. Otherwise, I really just, it's its the experience of me swinging a club, which which only tells me so much. Um, I think it's a great tool just to have. I think it's a good launch monitor for what it is. It does, you know, it's got a rechargeable battery. Uh, you can you can grab it take it with you um and you can look back at data about your actual swing i think that's pretty useful uh for somebody who's you know doing it for that purpose right trying to trying to kind of track their progress um is it a professional launch monitor probably not you know if i was if i was shooting par and wanted data for some reason that people who shoot par might want that kind of data um probably would seek something else but again does that mean does that mean i need something else for for me no no this is great i like it a lot so um i'll keep more videos going as i have the uh metallic dots 
and get a few more times of using it. Maybe I'll kind of put together my experiences in a summary video that way, you know, I know people watching this right now are probably early adopters or prospective early adopters. Um, but maybe we'll put something together down the road kind of to, you know, a year into this thing being on the market, there's still going to be people wondering, hmm, should I get a Swing Caddy SC4? And like I said, I think for, I think for what I've outlined, um, a, a lot of people that are in the same boat as I am will, will find it pretty useful. And if you're looking to build a simulator or you shoot par and compete or whatever, you know, you might want to consider something else, but that doesn't mean it's a bad product. So again, thanks for watching and stay tuned.